Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for July 30th, 31st, and August 1st, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, you know that on the weekend I'm using my Radley Valentine decks, I'm using my Angel Tarot cards for the main reading, I use my Archangel Power Tarot cards, um, pull one. I'll also pull one from my Guardian Angel cards. I love them. Anyway, and then I finish up with my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Anyway, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power and whatever comes through. My job, just deliver the message. Now, remember to like, share, subscribe, click on the bell, because that really does help. And, you know, there's always a little bit of weirdness going on with that. People telling me, Deb, I have, sub I have subscribed. I'm not getting your notifications. So, you know, do that periodically just to refresh their algorithm or whatever that is. Remember also that um, any cards that is reversed, that has a stronger meaning. I will talk about, you know, whoever this is to you, I will say your higher power, your guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, your, the source, whoever that is to you, okay? So if I say higher power, it is whoever that is for you and to you, okay? Now, I do feel that um, I need to use my rider tarot, my weight rider tarot cards because one other thing, let me just see if, do I have this up here? That, okay. On August 1st, uh, Leo, uh, Mercury and Leo will be opposing Saturn, which is retrograde, in Aquarius. Remember, Saturn in Aquarius is all about illusion versus reality. Mercury, which is about communication, is now in Leo. Now, that will be August 1st and August 2nd. Well, actually, August 1st, it will be opposing Saturn retrograde Aquarius. So there could be a lot of things coming out, a lot of truths coming out, things that we may not necessarily feel comfortable with. Because again, Saturn and uh, Aquarius, and I know I say it, it is, you know, basically it is um, illusion versus reality. And reality seems to be wanting to win more so. And then August 2nd, the, uh, the sun in Leo is going to be opposing Saturn in Aquarius. Saturn retrograde in Aquarius. And, you know, Leo has all of this honesty to it. So there could be a lot of things coming out. I don't know. Watch the news. Watch just for things to, you know, just to pop. Okay? Just watch for that. Now, let's go on. And we're going to shuffle a few times with these cards. And again, I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy. I do all the cards this way. And let's see. We will pull our three. Let's see what we have here. We'll cut. And we will pull our three cards. One, two, and three. Okay, and I did find my glasses. Yes, they were in my purse. I never put my glasses in my purse. I don't have a case, so I never put them there. So they were in the last place I looked, which was my purse. Okay but I do have them back. I'm happy. Okay, let's see what we have here with the Weight Rider tarot cards. And this is general energies, overlying, overlaying, whatever, for the weekend. First card. The Tower. Okay, so the Tower is an interesting card. So we have a 16 here. So 10 or 1, new, you know, new beginnings, 10 transitions. 6 is the number of man. You know, it basically is the energies we put into things. The tower, things have to be taken down in order for things to be built up. So again, you know, going along with what is on the first, and, so, you know, and, and these energies don't just, it's not like a light switch that you just, you know, flip it on and say, okay, midnight, this happens. You get a little pre prelude to it. You get a little build up to it. You get a little aftermath to it. But the tower is when the foundations rock and that things have to be taken apart in order to be built up again. So let's let's keep our eyes out to see what that's all about, especially for this weekend. The tower is not as scary as we would think. Um, it, it's like things, this has to happen. You know, it's like, um, you know, you have to dig up the dirt in order for you to plant the seeds. Next card. 
See, and there we go. We have the nine, yes, the nine of pentacles. Um, the nines have a completion, a wrap up. The pentacles is our earth energy. So when I say you have to dig up the ground, you have to toil the ground a little bit to plant the seeds, the nine of pentacles, um, nine's the wrap up, the finishing, the completion. Uh, pentacles is about money, is about um, your job, your career, your work. The, um, this is our Taurus, Virgo, and our Capricorn energy. So it's very hands-on, very tangible type of energy. But the nine of pentacles is about abundance. So something is happening. Something has to be, again, tilled up so that this, that this can actually be revealed, that this can actually come through and come out. Let's see what we have here. Judgment. So now we have a 20. 20, if you look at the 2, 0, two, it, 20 has its own energy, but I, you know, we're just going to bring it down to the 2. 2 has some decisions, some path, pathways. 2 is about also coming together. Zero is God, universal, divine type of energy. So there is a lot of karmic type of energy here coming. There is, you know, judgment is exactly what it says. But with judgment comes that new beginning. With judgment comes that next step. So it looks like, it feels like that, you know, this, there is, there could be some um, very powerful energies going on around us. There's going to be some takedowns, but there's also going to be some buildups and it's kind of like this has to happen. This has to happen, whatever this is that is happening. Okay? Now, like I said, um, that August 1st and that August 2nd has some really powerful stuff going on. That's, you know, and I know people that have been following me for a while know when I talk about Saturn and Aquarius, you know, and it's still in there. It's a little bit retrograde. So when it's retrograde, it's kind of digging things up again. So it's, you know, and it's been retrograde for a while. But again, Saturn, Aquarius, it's illusion versus reality. And it looks like this could be a very big weekend for that reality. Okay? Now, I will let you know if my throat sounds a little bit funny. Um, I wasn't going to tell you this, but I did have surgery yesterday, and I did have that tube down my throat. So if I have to drink or something like that, please, I'm sorry, but we will get this. We will get done with this. Anyway... And I knew everything would be fine. That's why I didn't say anything. I knew everything would be great. Anyway, let us start our readings. Oh, remember, like, share, subscribe. Let us start our readings. Hello, my Sagittarius. Let's see how we are going to be doing or what the energies are going to be like for the weekend. Here we go. Let's see. Okay, one more time here. And we're going to cut. All three are reversed. Strong stuff. Kind of make them pretty. First card up. Ace of air. Oh, new thoughts. New, new thoughts. New ways of handling a challenge. So aces is a one. Now remember, I didn't say this in the intro, but write down the numbers because they've been really speaking lately too. And what you would do is you'll take the numbers, you'll put them in your search engine, you'll put like whatever it is, one, two, three, in there, and then you'll put angel numbers behind it, hit the enter, hit enter, and then many things will come up. But aces is a one, new beginnings, new starts. Air energy is your thought processes. It's your swords. It's also Gemini, Libra, it's Aquarius. You know, we have a lot of things going on with that Saturn in Aquarius. So there might be some things that are kind of, brought up to you in more of that intellectual arena. You might be hearing some new news that you have to deal with, that you have to be, you know, that you have to work with. So it, I don't feel like it's bad, but it might be one of those things that you're like, I thought, you know, it, it might be something that you have to revisit. It might be something that you thought you had put to sleep already that you had completed. Because this is one of these things, I kind of feel a sense of a little bit of disgust with this. And it's kind of like, or it could be that somebody didn't do something and now you have to come up with that solution. So I kind of feel like you're like, oh, come on now. And then you have to figure this out. But it can also be a new opportunity opening up for you because of their lack. Because they didn't do it, it could also make, it could also help you shine a little brighter. And so is this in your work, your job, your career, 
could be your family, your home, it could be intimate, personal, int you know, interpersonal, it could be. But it's because of what they didn't do and you do, It's I do think that it's going to promote you a little bit. It's going to bring you to notice, okay? Bring you to be noticed. How's that? Anyway, brilliant new ideas and inspiration. Seeing the truth of a situation. Well, that Saturn and Aquarius will do that. A challenging beginning. So it's kind of, you know, like I said, I feel this sense of, Oh, come on now. Come on now. You know, right? Right? Anyway, next card. Balance. Balance. So now we have a 14. So this is a 114 energy. So there could be something with that. Ones, again, new beginning. Tens transition. Four has a sense of stability, leadership also. Balance is, now this is Archangel Zedkiel. So write down their names too because angels come out to be noticed or to be asked or worked with. Um, you know, they not to say necessarily that they will do for you, but they will help you, okay? Zedkiel, so this is balance. A lot of balance has to do with our, you know, with our Libra energies, keeping things in, a, in, a, in the rightness of the moment. So what you're going to do with this, what you're going to do, something comes to you, and again, it's something that you will probably be called to help bring into that better balance. Balance is exactly what it is. I'm kind of getting that thing of somebody learning how to ride a bicycle. And then, you know, right now it's kind of wiggly. And so this could be your life balance is a little bit on that wiggly side. This could, this new, this thing could here, this new thing here, this new idea could bring you a little bit out of balance. It could be where you're kind of being a little bit wiggly. You just need to, you know, have a little more confidence and kind of pick up your speed a little bit so that you get that balance back, okay? Balance is, of course, you know, it could be, well, it could be your work-life type of thing. It could be your home, your career. It could be your personal life, anything like that. But it's kind of like I kind of see somebody bicycling and they're a little bit wiggly. They're not necessarily confident on their bike. They're not confident. So that's the type of energy. If you feel like the sense of, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure what I need to do. Hey, all you have to do is just pedal, okay? Just keep pedaling, just keep moving forward, and your confidence will return. Okay, the need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. Your last card, justice. Now, justice is, that you know, we had judgment in the beginning, okay? Justice is a little bit different. And again, it has that Libra type of energy where it's that balancing type of energy also. But it's also, um, you know, now we have a 1148. Definitely those numbers do say have some sort of a meaning. Take a look at them. We also have Archangel Raguel. So again, Raguel will help you through this weekend should you need this help. Justice is what is right is right. And this is kind of like feeling like you might, Sagittarius says you have to right the wrong. You might have to, like I said in the beginning here, it's like, come on now, really, really? I have to get involved. I have to do this. I have to clean up after you. I have to make this right. You know, again, you know, it can be a little shaking to your confidence. Maybe you're going to be called into a position. Maybe you're going to have to cover for your boss. Maybe you're going to have to be the boss. And it's not something that you've been you know, that you feel comfortable about. The thing is, though, it is a place that you need to be in. It is something that is being returned to you or being given to you. It is where you're supposed to be. Okay. Fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. Okay, let's go on with this now. Let's see what we have here. So, yeah, the 1148, because, you know, that... Now the one one could also oh 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 my gosh okay justice returns again again so it's like you know it, this could be very much karmic justice it could be legal justice but I'm not a lawyer this isn't about legal things okay I mean it could be but don't don't make your legal decisions based upon these cards this go get a lawyer okay but we have that eight again we have the justice card we have Archangel Raguel. There is a reason that they come out. So something has to be put into place. Something has to be, you know, there could be a lot of, you know, this balance, the, this challenge, you know, it's, again, it's something that has to be made right. And I feel, my Sagittarius, it has to be made right for you. Anyway, fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. 
don't give up. So something really, it has to be made right for you. And this could be that weekend for you. You might have to, you know, you might have to think quickly. You might have to kind of like, you know, be the one that has those solutions. Be prepared if there has been something that has been withheld from you. And again, I'm talking more like a job or, you know, just be prepared that should something come back into your, into your, I, I purview, into your sphere, something come back for you to, you know, to deal with it, just be prepared to deal with it. You know, just be prepared that, you know, some, like I said, Saturn Aquarius is all about reality versus illusion. Um, you know, so something that's, you know, something that people were saying, oh, it's not real, it's not real, it's not real. All of a sudden, what you've been saying is proven to be real. Be prepared to act upon that. Does that make sense? I hope so. <clears throat> anyway, let's pull one from my guardian angels. Here, let's see what we have here. Reversed. Helper of action. Action is fire energy. So, you are blessed with many wonderful things to do. It would be great if you could take the time to make a plan first, but you probably, and this is what I just said, you probably, where am I at? You probably don't have the time. So get busy, follow your instincts, and have fun. You or someone you meet is self, very self-assured, capable, and enthusiastic, and can do anything with a smile. And that's what I, you know, it's like, you probably won't have a time. It, it'll just kind of pop up on you, and you'll have to deal with it, okay? But it looks like between that balance and the, the fact that you're getting the two justice cards, it looks like it was meant for you and, you know, like, okay, an example, maybe it was a job that you were overlooked on and then all of a sudden it comes to you, you know, the person that did get the job, maybe they quit, you know, without notice and somebody needs to step in and they choose you and you're, you're going to have to just like jump right in and get started. You might not even have chance for orientation or anything like that. It might be that quick. Okay, that's an example. Okay, let's see what crystal or energy for my Sagittarius is now. Here we go. This is reversed. Shungite. Shungite came up for Leo, too. I love Shungite. Shungite's a great stone to have. Protection from modern ills, grounding, everyday healing, purifying. It's also good for EMFs, too. Okay, electric magnetic um, forces, I think. Anyway, my Sagittarius is. Remember the button, like, share, subscribe, click on the bell. Most importantly, always know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.